Hello SAS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you a Luma alternative. This one is called VMaker. It lets you record your screen, it lets you upload to the cloud, it lets you do some basic editing, it lets you share a link, download it, and even embed it on your site. So all of this is all in the lifetime deal right now. Now one of the cool things about it is that it has unlimited upload storage and it records up to 4K. So those are really neat features that you have. Plus it's in a lifetime deal. So that means you pay once and use it forever. So let's go jump over to the deal and then jump over to BeeMaker so you actually understand how it works and see if it's a good fit for you or not. So let's jump over to my desktop. Okay, everyone, this is the VMaker deal that's going on right now, and it starts off at $49 for a lifetime deal. And basically, that deal is more than enough for most of us. Let me show you what that plan actually gets you. First and most important of all, it's it's tied to the team plan, which is our biggest plan, which is really good. And you get all the features included, like no, noise cancellation, blur web embed option, custom backgrounds, so on and so forth, no watermarks, and no branding on it. All right, tier one, that's the license that I got. And basically, like I said, it's more than enough for everyone. The only thing that changes is the amount of users. If you need more users, you might want to, to jump to the next license tier, but basically $49 is enough. Unlimited storage, unlimited video recording limits, and unlimited video downloads. So basically you get everything there. If you need it more, then you can go all the way up to 150 users, which is a whole lot, but I guess there are people who do need that many team members. So that's a lifetime deal. And with, for example, Loom, which is, you can grab the free version, but it, obviously it's limited. You have up to 100 videos and screenshots, up to five minute recording length. So after five minutes, it just stops on the free plan. And you got limitations. And if you go into the $8 plan, which removes those limitations, well, you do the math. $8 for like years, it's a whole lot of money. So if BeeMaker is enough for you, well, you can skip on paying that monthly bill and jump into BeeMaker. Okay. This is my BeeMaker dashboard. Um, what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is actually do a recording so you actually see the power of BeeMaker. And then we'll go into the option and settings that you can do with BeeMaker, okay? Let's click on BeeMaker. This is my dashboard, I already installed it. For now, it's available on Mac and Chrome extension, but Windows is coming. You just sign up and they'll be notifying you when it comes out soon. So that's in plans and it is included in the deal. Okay, so this is the BeeMaker um, main settings. Things we can do is record the screen, webcam, screen share, and schedule. So like I said, let's do a screen share really quickly. My face is down there on the left. I could do some other settings there, but we'll work on that in a bit. Let's start this recording. What we're gonna do is record a super quick video so it uploads it and you understand what it does, okay? So right now it's recording the screen. Things I could do is, for example, I can draw right here. For example, I have some color selections there, but I can draw here. That's a really ugly arrow, but you know, I'm drawing there. Um, if you wanna draw a square, like, hey, pay attention here, or look at this, and just click on the pencil again, and it removes that, okay? Settings for this right here, really quickly, is we can make the bubble bigger. I can make it a bigger square, for example, there. That's something I dislike about it, is like it kind of reloads again. There's a square. Let's go back into my little bubble. Here's a bubble, I can drag the bubble just in case I have something that I need to talk to and I need to show people there. That's available there. The avatar, if I wanna remove that. And I have some avatar options there, but it only works when I stop downloading. So let's stop this one, okay? Automatically, it's gonna open and it's gonna start uploading right there. Uh, while it's uploading, let me show you some settings that we have for the avatar. So here's the avatar again, okay? Here it is. And there's this little like, I don't know, like birthday thing right here and click on that one. We can change the shape right here if we needed to. For example, there's several shapes right here and they will be adding more. Uh, but if you like something like, hey, add your name right here, it could be like Sass Master, right? And there's that right there and change the color, which is green. There we go. That's pretty cool. Little features that really like change things, all right? Um, other things that you could do is background is coming. So that's coming soon. Silhouette also coming soon, but little details that you have there for, for options. Now, in this editor options, we have the option for schedule, which is pretty cool because if you know that you're going to have a meeting at, I don't know, three o'clock, and it's going to last one hour, well, you schedule it to record, start recording there. And you can actually have it notify you five minutes before it's going to start recording. For the recording quality, here's the video recording quality. You got auto, and you have all these options available. So like I said before, you can record up to 4K, which is pretty good. Not all the deals give you that that high quality, okay? 
Okay, before we jump into more settings here, let's go check out this upload that we have. Okay, so this is a recording I have, and let me mute this so we don't get mixed up. Okay, muted. Hit play, and here's the recording. I'm talking, there's my face. Um, there's that little pencil feature that you're going to see. Okay, um, heads up, you are going to see the little tool right there, so be aware. Maybe you want to cut it off. Okay, so you have that there. We have that recording. You have some basic editing options, which I think is pretty cool because not all recorders give you that. For example, I use Dropler and I don't have that option to like do some quick editing. And let me go into editor, okay. And we have some basic editing. So for example, first off, I can cut the video. Actually, I can only like trim the beginning and the end. I wish we could trim the middle if we need to do something and kind of split that but it's basic editing, like I said before. So if I drag this, it's gonna make it a shorter video, right? So that made it shorter, now it's 24 seconds, 25 about, and if I shorten it more, okay, now it's 18 seconds. Other editing editings we can do, for example, is when we hover over the video, we have these options available. I, I can have the cut option right here. So see this, it's a little bit more clear way to do the cutting, okay? I have the like dimension right here that I can crop it, for example, this is, this is something I like because maybe I don't want to show, and this happens in my videos, I don't want to show the tabs in the browser. So I can edit that right there, kind of make it look a little bit better. But the only thing is that you can only drag the, the normal size, all right? Just the size it is, we can only do that. If I needed to hit like shift and kind of do a custom size, I can't do that. So I recommend that when we do a recording, if you don't want to view the browser, you use the custom size right here. So we don't record everything. So you got the full screen, record window, and the custom size. So select custom size if you want to do that. Let's apply that, that changes. Uh, we can also flip this every single way right there. We can also flip it like that. There's me, and I can hide the tool. If I'm done, I can export this video right here. Um, I won't be doing that, no need for that. Let's close that. Let's go back into my dashboard. This video should be uploaded right here. There's my video. Remember, you have unlimited storage, which is really cool. Now, you can create workspaces if you don't wanna mix everything up. This is pretty cool because you, for example, here, I got two, oh, I got two workspaces right here. So one is my main one could be, and the other one is like the SAS Master Teams, and I can drag it over there. So that's pretty cool. Create workspaces, send it over there. When you're recording, that's this is where you select the workspace. Oh, click right there, here's my workspaces. Now, one thing I noticed is that this is tier one and this is light, so I'm not sure if you get all the options available there. I'll leave that in the description just to let you know what happens with that. Okay, what other options do we have right here? We can select our camera, we can select the microphone, the recording, the custom size, and basically that's, oh, the sharing part. Let's go into one of these videos. Uh, okay, share. One thing that I dislike about it is that is that they don't have C name. For example, if I wanted to use my own custom link to share it and people can view it, that's not available. And it kind of seems like they don't want to add it from the comments I've been seeing on, on the deal. So that's something that you have to be aware of. So, but you can embed this on your site and it won't have branding. And you can also download it and upload it to another media uploader, like I don't know, YouTube, if you want to share it from there. Um, something I'm not viewing here is the embed options. Where is that? Can edit, view, or this is for sharing. Let me go into the editor. Edit. Uh, again, this is the editor. Let's go back to the dashboard. Um, move to share, copy link. Uh, let me do another quick recording just for this, okay? Okay, here's our video and you got the options right here. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing them over there, but you have the timer option where if you want this to be like, I don't know, if you want this to be dead in one day after it's uploaded, um, be aware that this will delete the video on, on your end and their end, they won't be able to see it, so be aware. Um, recommended, do a duplicate and share that one in case you want to keep the video, okay? You have the download and you have the share option right here. Here it is. So we have the link, which I said before, it's not custom link. You can embed it. Here's the embed code if you need to use it in your website. And that's how you would do it. And you can share the link. So basically, that is the BeeMaker deal. And like I said, for $49, having that unlimited storage and recording up to 4K 
it's it's what makes it a good deal now they need to fine tune a bit of things on the dashboard like you saw right now that editor thing or the sharing why am i not getting the all the editing options to embed it i mean would i need to record again to actually view this but those are like small bugs that they should be looking at because that's pretty basic right that's things that they have to do i wish they had cname so we can use a custom link so we're not sharing um, that vmaker.com link and have something more customized to look more professional and again i think if we start telling them that hey we want this we want this they might add it okay that's one of the things i would want to really stick to this and another thing i would like for bmaker is that they would let you have screenshots also so no screenshots available only video recording and i guess that would be really cool to have this storage available there to upload the screenshots with a short key so for example when i use other recorders i use for example uh, option shift three and i enable my what do you call it here and i want my screenshot okay that's pretty cool. I wish they added that to BeeMaker so we have screenshots and quick recordings with short keys. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name's George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.